a long straight wire lies on a horizontal table and carries a current of 1.2 microampere in a vacuum a proton moves parallel to the wire opposite the direction of the current with a constant velocity of 2.3 into 10 to the power of 4 meter per second at a constant distance d above the wire determine the value of the d you may ignore the magnetic field due to the earth let us consider the current carrying along the positive x axis this is the direction of the current carrying and i is equal to 1.2 micro amperes the direction along the x axis so the proton move along the opposite y opposite to the current carrying this is the velocity of the proton move opposite to the current carrying conductor and the distance between the proton and conducting wire is the d the distance between the proton and conducting wire is the d and both are the opposite directions and parallel to each other first of all given values i is equal to given values i is equal to 1.2 micro ampere 1 micro ampere is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 amperes so 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 amperes and the velocity of the proton v is equal to 2.3 into 10 to the power of 4 meter per second and the the charge of the proton q is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb and the mass of the proton m is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kz and the acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square this is the values first of all we can calculate the magnetic field due to the long straight wire at a point d so the magnetic field due to the long straight wire b is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi r the magnetic field due to the long straight wire b is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi d this is the magnetic field due to the long straight wire at a point d and the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the current carrying conductor so the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the current carrying conductor according to the right hand rule so the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the velocity there are perpendicular to each other because the current carrying conductor and the velocity of the proton there are parallel to each other so the direction of the velocity and the magnetic field there are perpendicular to each other so the angle between the velocity and magnetic field is theta is equal to 90 degrees so the force acting on the proton due to the magnetic field the force acting on the proton due to the magnetic field f is equal to b q v sin theta this is the force acting on the proton due to the magnetic field and the force acting on the gravity on the proton is f is equal to mg both forces are equal so b q v sin theta is equal to mg so substituting the value of the b from the above equation so the value of the b is the mu naught i by 2 pi d into q v sin theta is equal to mg cross multiply the equation from the equation the value d is equal to mu naught i q v sin theta whole by 2 pi into mg substituting the values the distance d is equal to 
द वैल्यू ऑफ द मी नॉट इज द फोर पै इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ मैन सेवन टी एम बै ए इंटू द वैल्यू ऑफ द करे इज द ई इज ईक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ मैन सिक्स एमपियर्स इंटू द चारज क्यू इज द वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ मैन नयटी कुलूम इंटू द वेलासीटी वी इज द टू पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ सिक्स टेन ट पवर आफ फोर मीटर पर् सेकेंड एंड सैन थेटा इज द नयटी डिग्री हॉल बै टू पै इंटू द मास् आफ द प्रोटा इज द वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ मैन ट्वेंटी सेवन के जी इंटू द एक्सलेशन ड्यू टू ग्राविटी इज द नईन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर् सैकंड स्क्वे दिस इज द वैल्यूज एंड कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू द वैल्यू डी इज ईक्वल फाइव पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन ट पवर आफ मैन टू मीटर्स वन सेमीटर इज ईक्वल टेन ट पवर आफ मैन टू मीटर्स सो द डिस्टेंस डी इज ईक्वल फाइव पॉइंट फोर सेटर्स दिस इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द प्रोटा एंड द करे कैरिंग कंडक्टर